two, one, ignition. A long anticipated launch. It's a new chapter in space takes flight. On board, astronaut Shubanshu Shukla, the first Indian to go to space in 41 years. It took months of meticulous training to get to this day. Now take a breath and hold. The magnitude of the mission hit Shukla in flashes, he says. Little moments like when he first donned his suit. You know, when I wore that spacesuit and I saw uh, that Indian flag on my shoulder, you know, you take a pause at that time and you think about this, that how big this is. I understand that it's a huge responsibility uh, for me to, you know, inspire an entire young generation through my mission. Inspire and motivate, words used often as India talks up its space accomplishments. Lift off normal P1 tracking. The Chandrayaan-3 mission nearly two years ago was a big success. India's rover landing by the moon's south pole, a world first. And the prime minister says there's more in store. India's space journey is not about racing others. It is about reaching higher together. The plan is to have India's own space station orbiting Earth in 10 years' time and an Indian astronaut walking on the moon by 2040. Lofty goals that come with challenges. Even though India is one of five major space players, its share of the market is only 2%. But India is punching far above its weight for a fraction of the price of other space programs. It's more than inspiring for these kids launching their own mini rockets. They're learning about how far into space their country wants to go and crafting their own dreams. Hey, do you want to go into space one day? No. No? <laughs> I want to make rockets. I don't want to be an astronaut. No, no, look at this, look at this. That's precisely what the session's organizer wants to hear. When we talk to the students, we tell them there are only 10 astronauts who go into the space. There are 10,000 minds or hands working to make that thing happen. Very nice. India has plenty of that, and a young generation motivated to see India's colors fly high in space and beyond. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Mumbai.